Welcome to another Shadow of War slash Shadow of Mordor video. You guys have probably heard about or seen the recent update for Shadow of Mordor. In today's video we'll talk about what it does exactly and quickly show you our, our experience with it. So let's get into it. So for you guys that don't know, the update added a new mode called the Nemesis Forge. It allows you to export your most interacted with follower and most interacted with nemesis to shadow of war the idea behind it is that you now have the time to forge both of them before the game comes out so you have a badass and strong follower or nemesis one thing to keep in mind is that the personality and some of the gear of these uruks might change during the switching progress uh, from shadow of mordor to shadow of war if you load into the nemesis forge you will respond in nurnan which you can't leave if you go into the army screen, you can see the top 25 most interacted with Uruks. When playing this game mode, you will have unlocked all abilities and all runes from your previous save file. Your current follower will be pointed out with this icon. For us, this is Takra of the Black Gate. And the nemesis can be recognized by this icon, which for us is Pash the Wrath Reader. Personally, I find it hard to find a cool nemesis because I usually just kill all of them so Pash is just a random Uruk that the game selected. When performing a nemesis mission you can choose to kill him, rend him or even make him stronger by letting him kill you. So think about it, what you want. Uh, and that's actually all there is to this update. This was a very short video but there wasn't really too much to this. Thank you for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. If you have any questions, want to share your ideas, or if you simply want to start a discussion, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.